For the tritium surgery, we've made wonderful strides over the last 20, 25 years. The old school way of doing it was under a general anesthetic and basically, forgive me, you would put stitches in the eye to move the eye around to get access to the pterygium. Well, I'm a laser eye surgeon. I'm used to basically talking to people while I operate on their eyes. And if you give them some Valium or equivalent, get them relaxed, um, you can actually do it and you can do it well and you do great surgery with it and avoid all that. Um, the other issue is a few, actually many years ago now, I had two patients back to back for a pterygium surgery. Both of them were not, you could tell they were not happy during the course of the surgery. They were kind of disturbed. And later on, they told me the eye surgery wasn't bad at all, but I hated the IV needle in my arm. So after that, I basically stopped putting IV needles in people's arms, unless I have somebody with some underlying medical conditions that the, and an anesthesiologist says you've got to do this, which is incredibly rare. Usually if they're in bad shape uh, from a systemic medical point of view, I probably am not going to talk, touch them with a, uh, from, from a surgical point of view, eye surgery point of view. But nonetheless, um, we don't like to put in IV needles. Basically, we use a triple local, so basically three types of anesthetic, either on or around the eye or under the pterygium, and some Valium or equivalent under the tongue um, as well. We get people relaxed, and we still have, we achieve twilight anesthesia, but at the same point, we don't have to take them down that much um, in terms of things, and their, their breathing is still intact as well, so we don't have to worry about um, uh, any issues. That, like I said, we don't have an IV needle in our arm, there's no breathing tube down their throat, and forgive me, but there's no Michael Jackson medication um, as well. Surgery itself lasts maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on um, how extensive it is, how technical it is, and also sometimes I'll do both eyes at the same time if, if somebody wants that. I have a lot of people who will do that. Um, it's a little trickier with the insurance rules and such, uh, but usually anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes uh, per eye for that. Um, again, the surgery doesn't use any stitches, and with the glue, it's more efficient surgery. It allows us to do what needs to be done, um, and, uh, but in an expeditious fashion. Now, the other thing for the surgery is anxiety is a big issue. People are afraid of eye surgery, but if you basically give them a triple local, you don't stick needles into them, um, and you basically don't use any stitches for them, and it, it's actually not bad at all. And basically, I usually tell people, hey, your job is to look off to the side and listen to some smooth jazz music for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and it's actually um, it's been called pretty easy surgery. So we've simplified things a lot over the years. We've made it much more patient friendly um, as a result. Um, other considerations, getting back to work and driving. Usually the surgery, if you use stitches, that can be a really tough recovery over the span of many weeks um, as well. Sometimes not, and there's nothing wrong with stitches. I'm not, um, uh, bashing that as a technique. That is an, as an approved standard technique which is completely acceptable from a medical point of view. I personally, being somewhat of a boutique surgeon, prefer to actually have um, the glue instead for the reasons we discussed. It's more comfortable for people, it's smoother surgery, I don't have to take people uh, down as far in terms of um, anesthesia and, and such. And then usually we can do our surgery, say for example on a Wednesday, Driving probably a couple of days, I would, and then the first day out, there's still going to be some recovery process. It's still baking, basically taking a tumor off the surface of the eye, um, but basically a couple of days in terms of uh, driving, that's not a problem. And then back to work a couple of days. You, if it's a Wednesday or Thursday surgery, usually back to work on Monday or Tuesday. So a couple of days of recovery, not a few weeks.